by its sequel, Bahuda in the Conclusion in 2017, established himself as the leading director nationally. In his 17 year career, Rajamali has won three national awards. Founder of NewsNet, a prominent uh, news website in the South, and over there. Jai Mahesh <laughs> So we start with that note. Um, I'm sure everyone knows about Gaudi one and two, but for those who do not know, maybe don't know the details. In fact, I asked the producer before coming here as to what figures should I quote. So it's the biggest blockbuster that Indian cinema has seen, $370 million uh, for two movies. Uh, so, this is the of the Bahubali. And uh, of course, it's not ended. Uh, there's a web series coming on Shivagami, there's a tabletop book, there's comics, there's so much more happening on Bahubali. So, uh, the conversation will be nice, sometimes not nice. After 25 minutes, we will invite questions from the audience. But in case you really burst into ask something, you could try putting your hand up in between and I may take it. So my first question to you is um, South Indian cinema. Um, a lot of people believe that after Bangladesh's massive hit, that we, they all, South Indian filmmakers think that it's been really big now. How do you feel that you are the one who held it, that it's gotten a change? Uh, I can't take the credit. I said, but she left the industry. Once in a while, there will always be a filmmaker who, who will think big. Uh, sometimes there will be a business, sometimes, sometimes there will not be a business. So, uh, uh, but for some people, obviously, Bob will give you a confidence that you can, uh, you can think big, but not everyone who thinks big can make a, can make a big film. Uh, I myself don't know whether I'm going to make a big film. So it is only the dream and you, you just go ahead with it with all your conviction and uh, so many things, so many people have, have to come together to make it. Uh, to make it uh, yeah. But, but regional cinema, I, there, there's always a boundary. Do you think that boundary is created by filmmakers? They believe that uh, if I make a Telugu movie, it's for the sensibility of Telugu audience, or if it's Tamil, it's for Tamil audience. So what will actually uh, enable regional media filmmakers, you think, to, to actually cross those boundaries and make cinema to sort of appeal to everyone? Or is that not possible in a country like India where the cultural differences are vast? Is Bahubali one of those rare movies? No, no, no. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, the boundaries are uh, in your mind. Mm. I mean, practical boundaries will, will always exist. Uh, uh, the networks or, or the distribution system which has been used to certain kind of uh, way of functioning for a long time uh, would not uh, uh, think of inviting everyone uh, to get into their system. Mm. Uh, that's obvious, but uh, but that's the uh, physical hurdle that you have to cross, uh, which is which is not too hard. The real hurdle is in your brain. Uh, for me, I always say this. Uh, I work on human emotions, and I feel that human emotions are the same across any language, any culture. So, if you, uh, because I make films like that, for me, I think that is easy for for me to uh, cross boundaries. Mm. I really feel the the hurdles are in your brain. Uh, it is not at all, uh, not at all impossible. But what are the hurdles in your own brain, especially when Bahubali One became such a massive hit across India? And there was obviously a lot of pressure on how Bahubali 2 will come up with. So what are the mental barriers that you also have had in making this film pan in you? See, for us Bahubali 1, Bahubali 2 is not an afterthought. Mm -hmm. It's not like, okay, Bahubali 1, we had a hit love. No, let's use this to make, it, make another film. Uh, uh, it is one story, mm -hmm. uh, because it's a big story, because we can't fit uh, a five-hour film into, uh, into one part, we divided it into two parts. So it's not an afterthought. So it is, it is uh, Always we are making one big, one big story. Now, if, if we have like that, then we should be making Bahubali 3, which is much more easier for us to make money. So, are you? No. 
Now, see, why we made Bhagavad is because we had an exciting story. Uh, and my story is over with Bhagavadi too. I don't have any other story left. If I have then I'll ask that question. <laughs> so, but still when you made it, did you always believe that it's going to it's going to work for all audiences? Yes. yes. Why, why do you think so? Otherwise we'll be thinking. If you <laughs> we spend so much of money on it, if everyone across India is not going to see the film, if only my Telugu audience are going to watch the film. Then we are going to see. <laughs> so that was kept in mind. <laughs> I am joking. But uh, like I said, I, I, I truly believe that uh, uh, this film this is going to appeal to everyone across India. Uh, uh, why, we, uh, why is because it's, it's, it starts right from the beginning where I have been reading the kind of stories. No, uh, which always had a panic in it. And a basic inspiration like is like from Mahabharata and Brahman and all the Marsitra And they are not region specific. They are panic, panic in stories. And my film had had that kind of appeal. So, and the story had that kind of appeal. And I really believe that, that it would appeal to uh, everyone. And that is uh, that is the conference even my producer, producer had. That is the conference even my, uh, my, all the technicians had. That's why we So, but now when you are going to make a new movie, is that thought always in your mind, or are you uh, going to make movies which is for the Telugu audience only? But you, you now think that when S. S. Rajamouli makes the movie, everybody is thinking, I want to watch it because it's going to uh, be right to my sensibilities also. Is there pressure on the filmmaker? Mm, no. Uh, so filmmaking is never pressure for uh, pressure whatever films I made. Uh, the pressure comes towards the end of the film. <laughs> As it's about to release whether the film is going to become a hit or not, is the pressure that I experience. But I'm conceiving the story. It, it, it is the best part. It's, it, there is no pressure. It, it, it is, uh, every moment is beautiful as each and every scene falls into pieces. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. Everything is formed. It's a, it's, a, it's a pressure at that time. I, don't, I won't be thinking too much about how I'm going to market it, to which part of the country is going to be like. I won't be thinking too much about it. No? Uh, with the experience, I will have an idea you know, what kind of target, target audience I'm, I'm going to have. I have a rough idea, but I won't be thinking too much into it as as you make the it, as, as, as the product is being formed mm -hmm. in the initial, initial stage. As it is being formed, then uh, obviously we think of uh, the commercials commercial aspect, aspect of it, how much it's going to cost and where are we recovering this money from and what kind of uh, audience it's going to reach. That will come a little bit later, but at the base of it, it is just the pleasure of storytelling. So your next movie, so his next movie is called RRR, the two big uh, superstars in Telugu. So is that also going to be a pan-Indian movie? How, it, how are you? It is a pan-Indian okay. film because, because, uh, because the nature of the story is it's again a fantasy movie. Uh, don't ask me more questions. <laughs> <laughs> but it's going to be a family yes. <laughs> is it going to be in that big a scale as Bahubali or? <laughs> so is it going to be at a large scale or? It will be a large scale, movie, yes. Okay. So because we are studying Harvard and I'm sure there are a lot of students from business school to here. And there have been a lot of conversations happening on startups. So, as a movie maker, um, for the people who run their own companies or startups, what, how, what do you think is the lesson that they should take to the film industry? That are things just not in your control, or are things in your is, is planning a huge part of it? Yes, planning is a very, very uh, uh, huge part of it, and there will be many things uh, which will go out of control. But one thing that you can't let go out of control uh, is your conviction and is your confidence. That is the one thing which you really have in your hand. And uh, all other things that come from the outside world. And if you have your conviction and your confidence and your core team working, uh, uh, believing in your in your conviction, then you will find a uh, find a way to overcome that. Sometimes you will be falling flat on your face. And, but you have uh, never had that experience. We had many, many experiences. Of your movies, because I thought all of them were commercial hits. Commercial hits is after the release of the movie. But I'm talking during the okay. making of the <laughs> making of the production. Uh, we faced many, many. Uh, Can you tell us? Uh, 
I mean, I'm a big Harry Potter fan. So, before Dumbledore died, for like two years, for like two years, for like two No, I'm saying no, 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 no. <laughs> okay. So, it was that much, right? The whole speculation. I'm sure that it was also planned to a certain level. And you're someone who, your, your interval for every movie, and that is not only Bahubali, all your other movies, your intervals are always special. The punch. In Bahubali, the first part almost ends like the interval. <laughs> so, tell us about the secret of the virus. The, the virus secret. Ah, okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, when, I, uh, when we completed the whole story and then we decided to make it into two parts, so there was a long debate on how to split it, whether it should be make it a straight narration, whether we stick to the flashback narration and where should we stop the first part and what should be the interval of the first part, be, what should be the interval of the second part. Be. So a lot of uh, discussion, so we decided Okay, let's make it a flashback narration and we'll stop the first part at the end of the war. But because it's a flashback narration, we started with a certain set of characters. Right? We started with uh, uh, Mahendra Bhakti, we started with the, with the villages, we started with Katapas, starting the narrating the flashback. And we are ending the film with a different set of characters, with Sivadan and Amrindra Bhakti. We thought that was not nice because these guys, this set of guys have started narrating the story. At the end of the first part, we have to come back, come back to them and, and give them a proper ending. And there was no emotional high in this. At the end of the war, there is an emotional high. And just coming back and uh, saying, okay, let's tell the story six months later is not going to... Make people talk about it. it, it, it there is no emotional high. So we thought, okay, let's give them an emotional high. Let's put some part of the second second part here to make it interesting for the people. Maybe this what which is the best part, giving the best part. Okay, let's put it as there. And I really didn't think it of think of it as a cliffhanger ending. Okay, I thought it is a nice ending for people to look forward for the second part. That's why if you watch the film you will see even the music and everything are are made very poetically done. Even the killing of Boswell is like a silver shot with fire burning in the background, uh, with uh, slow motion shot, with hair flowing and everything. It's a, it's a poetically, musically done. I didn't expect it to be a, a viral, uh, this thing at all. In fact, we didn't have Vai Fet of Akil Boswell as a tagline for the first, second part. When we release the first part, after the film was released, after people started asking the question, then we thought, okay, this is nice. So <laughs> how did that movement, <laughs> that question of why did Chaka Pati Bhavad? I didn't do it. People did it. <laughs> so it was completely organic, you say? Completely. Completely. Once it started becoming viral with the people, then we thought, okay, let's use it. So how, how did we use it? Tell us. It's, it's simple. Then we started putting it in the uh, publicity and everything. We started releasing the posters with WKKD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And every interview you were asked. Sorry? Every interview you were asked. Every interview, every person I met, every greeting, it was the same thing. Are you missing that now? You are no longer asking. Why Katapati Bhavali? See, see, when people ask why Katapati Bhavali, you say, no, that I'm not going to give the answer, but they're not expecting the answer. It's a kind of greeting. You're saying, hi, Katapati Bhavali, it's a kind of greeting. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's every part of Bhavali. Everyone, everyone does, but it's a part of life that's done. We are, uh, we are moving forward. So is Ara going to be too fast or is the one part? <laughs> so you're not going to have any... Uh, yeah, So you have, uh, you have experimented with fantasy quite a bit, not just Babu, but even before that, not the and other movies. When do you think um, your Indian movie makers can really start making fantasy movies at perhaps a Hollywood scale uh, without budget constraints, or is it? Are they forced to then make a movie which is completely fantasy? I'm talking about the fantasy film. See, as Indians, our, our culture started with fantasy storytelling, mm -hmm. right? We have fantasy storytelling, uh, fantasy storytelling in our blood, in our DNA. <laughs> we are brought up on fantasy uh, storytelling. Uh, it's just that our our uh, our 
industry is, is fragmented into regional film industries and we don't have that kind of budgets to tell in a, uh, uh, in a bigger scale. But again, budgets are, are only one constraint. It's not the whole constraint. It's not just that you have a big budget and you can make a good facts. What are the other Like I said, it's in our position of brain. Mm. You know, uh, uh, even without budget, even without big budgets, you can make you can make fanciful. And in, in another way, ego is a uh, is a fanciful. It's not a it's a it's not a realistic. Film. It's a fantasy for it film. And uh, compared to that, you have it's a other films is a big budget, but but it's not a very very big budget film. Mm. So if, if you have the want of telling the story, whether it's fantasy or any other uh, any other film. The drive should be in you to tell the to tell the story. So that is the biggest constraint, constraint not having a drive, um, and, and always thinking in that commercial format. What is the for? So the biggest problem that we have uh, uh, we have today in India is that we have the certain commercial films. I love commercial films. I make commercial films, but everyone tries to do, make a story in the same format. No, whether it's a big film, small, medium film, smaller film. No, they, they drive the same kind of story, the same kind of meter, whether it's for Rajni Khan or whether it's for, you know, upcoming new, new guy with some golden star, with some sun star, with some kind of star. There must be some actor with golden star. Sorry? Uh, who's got golden star, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't mean, 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 Okay, you know, wanting to become a star is fine, but uh, all the story writers making that kind of stories is not a good thing to happen. Then you are not exploring the story that you want to uh, tell. So that is the biggest constraint, not the budgets at all. But will we ever see franchises? Like uh, I was talking to Mr. Shobhi yesterday, he said that there is a Shivagami web series coming mm -hmm. out. But are we, are we like still many years away from creating that like, uh, Narendra? Something that Marvel and Universal does. Do you think we are ever going to? We are aspiring to do that. I, I, I'm actually surprised that we were not able to create a franchise uh, till now. Mm. Our franchises have been our stars. No, I, uh, never been characters. I, I really, I, I myself don't know why we haven't been able to create characters uh, and and make those characters a uh, uh, super. Uh, in that way, our biggest superhero is what are we might think. Franchise uh, uh, we, we should be we should be doing that. I think the the time is uh, right now to create characters uh, uh, which out of which we can make a franchise. There are not about the actors. No, it, it, not about the stars. I mean, yeah. we can't. Yeah, because that is. You have to invest more into the character, character building, story building, uh, invest time, money, everything in, into that to, to make a franchise. So now, just going to a different mode of question. Um, how much do you think a filmmaker really goes to society, as in the movies, the stories that you tell? There's a lot of focus now on what cinema is speaking about, what is social messaging of cinema. So, how much do you think a movie maker goes to society as to you tell a story, the structure of a story uh, should be in a way that it does not affect the social practice? That's a big debate, right? Yes. What so I'm just going to start. Is, what is the message that you give? Um, first of all, I don't need any kind of messages. I never felt a need to give uh, messages to the uh, people. And what kind of uh, what is it? What did you say? What, what do you go to the society? A filmmaker uh, or any other person uh, uh, I don't know how to put it up. Let me reframe my answer. Yes, sure. So for example, there is a lot of discussion on how women are portrayed in movies, for example. So do you, you take that kind of... No, I, I don't. For me, we do our best for the society. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we give the best to our society. When we do our work to the 
to the best of our ability. That is the best way we can contribute to the uh, society. For example, if you take uh, Barbary, uh, Barbary or say like we spend 450 crores on the, on the film. Where did we spend that money? Where did that money go? Hmm? There were about, we started working on what is the number of people that worked on Barbary, uh, big and small. It came to one lakh plus. So one lakh plus people were working on Barbary for five years. So we are giving uh, their, 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 uh, their salaries or, or their remunerations or whatever for that period of time. And uh, and also the levels of working skills you know, go up to that extent. Today the uh, the VFX artist who who work who worked on Bhagavad is capable of working on any Marvel universe uh, work that has been assigned to him. The level of his skill set goes up to that level. I'm just saying as an example, whether it's a carpenter on the on the, on the set of Bhagavad it uh, is in the level of an art assistant or, or to, a, uh, to a much bigger level. He can do much better work than he what he did for uh, before five years. That was after getting paid for what he was working. So this is the way that we that that we contribute. When you make a good film, when you make a big film, or whatever film that you make, you are giving so much of. Uh, uh, I don't know how to put it, whatever, my, my answer... Back to society. Back to society, that's, that's no, no, And your answer, I'm just coming to that point. As a filmmaker that you go to the, go, go to the society or Many people think that uh, uh, when the question comes is that, the other way of putting the question is that, is the films only for entertainment or should be any message? The problem is with the word only. You know, uh, entertainment is a, is a big thing, a big really thing. Um, I remember my uh, my aunt, my aunt director telling me this story. <coughs> the story of storytelling. When did it start? You know, how did it start? So when when uh, people were in the still in the hunting hunting and uh, gatherers gather stage, life was very difficult. They didn't know what the future was going to be, what tomorrow is going to, going to be. It's a hard life. You go out, face many many dangers, and you come back and at the end of the day when you used to sit around the fire, sitting around the fire and then someone will start a, a story. Mm. The story would be anything about a hero, about a comedy, about a tragedy or anything. But that would make people let go of their daily troubles, forget their daily life for a moment, go into a separate uh, life, emote through, through those uh, people, whether it's laughing, crying, anger, whatever. No? And, and you, you feel refreshed to start your daily life next day. After centuries, after centuries, even today, whether it's a, whether it's a doctor, whether it's a workshop, or anyway, anyone is still are not sure about the future. You need a way to let go of your, of your daily life and, and emote in a different story. That is what we do as a, we call it entertainment. But what we are doing is that we are letting, taking off these emotions for the time being, make them emote in a different uh, uh, story, refreshing them and going back to the life. That is what we do. And if I do my job correctly, that is what I am doing. So, so I understand your point that cinema is a lot of employment, that cinema is also about entertainment. But what I mean to ask you is that, uh, for example, it, through the Me Too movement or even the conversations around uh, feminism and feminine court about how women are portrayed in movies, there's a lot of criticism on the character of Avantika. I mean, I was reading a public movie for Vikram Kudu where the hero has the obsession with the heroic's neighbor. So, uh, what do you think of those portrayals in your movies? Would you do those differently now uh, because you have received criticism over, over those or do you still, I mean, is that social messaging then right? Two different questions. Uh, questions. Social messaging is different than what you are talking about. Portrayal of, uh, uh, of women. Uh, of, uh, Especially Avantika's character was, uh, that whole song was criticized quite a bit. I, uh, I don't think that the criticism of uh, Avantika came through and it was deeply pained. Mm. I was very angry no and uh, gradually I thought, okay, all kinds of people exist, it doesn't matter. 
sort of uh, somehow maintain status quo, especially the Varna system, you sort of follow it. So, my auxiliary question to you is, uh, when you said you don't want to change anything about our speaker, but so what most of the filmmakers in that session were saying is that uh, if I am coming to the oppressed community, uh, my stories are not being told from the prism of how I see it. It's like, for example, it's always the gaze of the upper caste, like for the women, it's always the male gaze. So, do you believe that you have to start looking at things from a different perspective also, from a woman's perspective, from someone from an oppressed community? You see. Uh, and I have to explain why you wouldn't change anything. No, uh, when I tell a story, mm -hmm. I tell a story which excites me, which emotes me about what I feel, uh, uh, feel great about telling the story. First of all, I should feel nice about telling the story. I should emote. No, I, uh, it's not about okay what people are saying today. I, I don't look in that perspective at all. First, I should like the story. I should feel nice telling about uh, telling the story. And I tell that story to the people. And if there's someone who feels, uh, uh, okay, today there is some me to movement coming and someone feels very emotional about it and if someone feels there is a story to tell about that particular subject and they should go ahead and make it. You can't ask, uh, I mean you can ask, but you uh, you can't expect uh, every storyteller to, to pick up a subject that you like and, uh, and uh, Yeah. Yes. I'm not. So if if you have no budget constraints, mm. if uh, nobody has put in any pressure on it, then it has to become a hit, mm. and you don't have to work with stars. Mm. What is the movie that you would want to make? Yeah, Ramayana and Mahabharata. No doubt about it. <laughs> okay. So uh, only those who come to the mics. Do not camouflage comments as questions. I will cut you off if you do that. Uh, so ask your question. You want to do that? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Hi, uh, Mr. Raja Mahali. I I saw a Facebook post of yours in which you were carrying a sword with your cinematographer. What kind of creative differences you had in this process? I'm sure there are a lot of people involved in many departments during the filmmaking process, especially with the cinematographer. Sorry, sorry, I didn't get the question. I saw a Facebook post in which you were carrying a sword along with a creative director. Even what creative differences did you have by making the movie? With my cinematographer. With everybody, man. So, I'm sure. Who's the director? Who's the director? Um... Not much. The biggest creative differences I always have is with my father, the story writer. Most of the... Uh, no, no, actually there is no joke in it. Uh, uh, I argue with him the, uh, the most and he criticizes me the, uh, 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 the most. And uh, apart from that, I, I don't think I have any creative differences. And with your wife, she influences a lot of your cinema, I would think. Yeah, there, there, there is no argument. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so uh, you mentioned that uh, you wouldn't change anything about our film and all, but there are other things that you would change. Oh. Can you give an example of a few? Yeah, uh, the reason why uh, Sivakar made a decision to be uh, Amrit Rabakari told me that was not strong enough. By making the story, we thought it was not strong enough. Uh, by making it towards the end of it, I felt it was not strong enough. And still I feel it is not strong enough. There, there should be something else uh, why she decided uh, to take that. That's one of my Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. Just a quick question. Uh, with data becoming cheap and Netflix and Amazon Prime entering the digital platforms, do you think it will have an impact on the type of movies which are being made or the structure of cinema which people want to take? Just to get your opinion on that. There, there, there will definitely be a uh, big impact. Uh, the biggest impact would be uh, initially uh, earlier, earlier cinema or mainstream cinema was the 
would would uh, uh, is the only platform at least for 80-90% of the people to tell the uh, tell the stories. Uh, and mainstream cinema has certain formats, so only you can enter into the mainstream cinema if you can make tell your stories in those formats. But with all these digital platforms coming uh, coming in, you can tell your story to different segments of people. So there's a chance of more kinds of stories. Now, out of the biggest criticism of on Telugu cinema, Indian cinema is that we make very stereotypical uh, films. Now we have a chance to make uh, different kinds of films for different kinds of audiences at different budget and levels. So I think that will make a very big impact on on the next the next ten years. Uh, so yes, please. Uh, I want to ask you a question about South Power. Like, you see, uh, I want to ask you a question about uh, South Power. So like, if you see Hollywood, it's like a great example of how America has influenced like many other countries. And like, uh, China is trying to do the same with this industry and trying to increase the soft power. Do you think um, like Indian cinema, like with its like growing success, could increase India's soft power abroad? Oh, sorry. Could Indian cinema increase its soft power abroad? Yeah. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know what is the uh, soft power. Soft power, like, so soft power is like a concept where uh, countries increase their cultural like influence over other nations, or hard power is like a military. Uh -huh. Of cultural influence on other countries. Frankly, I don't know the uh, answer. If, if uh, that helps us reduce the influence of the West on us, that can be a Somebody come to you like Rahul Gandhi or Donald Trump. You know? <laughs> they say, if you say, okay, you are a great filmmaker, can you make a movie on my autobiography? Do you think you'll be interested in doing that? Would you make? Yeah, yeah, no, no but uh, uh, where is the story? I, I need to see an emotional story. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Me in politics, no. My uh, my stint with uh, uh, politics ended with J JP uh, acting, uh, opting out of active politics. Uh, uh, the only politician with whom I really admired, whom I really liked, is uh, Dr. JP. My name is Uday. Uh, the question to you is, now that you're super successful, you're a star yourself, you probably will draw the numbers just like an acting star, um, and people are looking up to you, like other industries, yes. KGF, etc. Uh, are you thinking about creating channels or avenues for newer actors or newer technical crew members, either to work with you or to pro probably have a studio like Therma Productions or YRF or you know, Aditya Roy Kapoor's company? Have you been thinking on those lines because now that now you have that? Yeah, yeah, what um, actually, it's not about being a star or whether it's not about having a, a, a name for yourself. Identifying uh, your talent uh, is an art itself. You know, art, art itself. Uh, I tried to do that not before possible. I tried to do that. I tried to do that, and I realized that I'm I'm not that kind of person. I, I mean. I realized that it's a different art form. I didn't find the talent and let it grow. It's a completely different art by itself. Uh, because the moment someone starts telling the story or telling something, I, I started putting my thoughts into it. You know, and then I realized, well, this is not the way to do it. So you're comfortable with established stars? Not the stars. I'm talking more about the storytellers, okay. not, not, the, uh, not the stars. But he's saying about creating opportunities yeah. for new stars, new stars. Oh, you're talking only about stars. No, no, for everyone. Actors, for everyone. Actors, actors, actors include the technical crew and all of that. And even if they're not working directly with you, probably have studios. Like Karanjo's studio, yeah. he, he doesn't work directly with them. Yeah. Uh, uh, like I said, it's, it, uh, identifying new talent and making notion that talent and 
um, uh, letting it grow is a different art form itself, which I don't possess. But if I find someone, I'm, I'm keen to do it. I'm keen to do it. If someone uh, like uh, Shobh is willing to do it, I, I definitely partner with him. Yeah. I have a question. Oh, hi. Um, so when when I watched the movie Bahubali here in Boston and went with a bunch of friends, I think the one scene where everybody, all the women, including myself, everybody stood up and started clapping was when that guy's head was chopped off because he touched the lady without her permission. So it looked to me that in your storytelling, even though you said you don't look for social messages, there's always women empowerment or there's other things embedded in them. So my question is, what are the top three things you look for in a story to be successful? Story to be successful is... Uh, or you want to direct? Yeah, that's what that's good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so there, there are no three things. There is only one thing, uh, which which I've been saying again and again that I should feel emotional about that that particular story. I should I should be able to visualize as the story is being told or as the story is being formed. I should be able to visualize that in my in my head, and uh, that visual should stay with me for a for a considerably long time. Uh, then the story will be dictating me, you know, uh, as if the story is a person and uh, uh, dictating me to tell, uh, to bring that onto the screen. So that's the only criteria. I mean, the story needs to be good, but what elements are the three okay, things? Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, I mean, that's I mean, only one, one more question. Like I said, that's the only thing. It should be, it should be moving. Yeah, that's the question. I'm not going to get an understanding of it. So I have a question. Um, how many languages we have released Bahubali so far? And, uh, no, I have, didn't even Google that. Do you have any plans of releasing in more languages? And how much no, 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 no. Uh, That's a pet bro. Follow up question. Follow up question. And uh, 